Now you three restraining orders against you me. You threatened a registered nurse. I didn't threaten anybody. And me with dogs when we're trying to see public records. I said my dogs can be uppity with people that are coming in my then property. When you're conducting have private they, have judging, they you? have they attacked you? When you're conducting private Thank judging you. and noticing this leaving. is your address, you are on my home. Leave Please my home. Please call the police on, then. Let's because go. you have this noticed as a public courthouse. Thank you. This is what you noticed, sir. Not me. You Let's put go. it in the public domain. Ms. Bassey, I would suggest privileged communication. Oh, Thank you. Certainly. Your private judging records are not privileged, sir. This is Susan Bassey. State and federal law is very clear about court proceedings. The public has a right to attend hearings and to see public records, even when those hearings are being conducted in a private residence or in a big fancy office building. California, over the last 20 years, has been privatizing the courts by allowing attorneys to act as judges with full power and immunity for private compensation. And this occurred even in the pandemic when the courts were closed to everybody else but we still had a right to access these proceedings and these hearings. And so I decided to take a nurse with me, a reasonable person, and see if she had any better luck at obtaining the records that I had been seeking and had not been able to access, as the law permits. How are you? I'm looking for an employee of BJ Faden Office. Okay, which employee? Any. For what is this? Do you guys do you work here? It depends. Who are you? My name is Corgan, and I'm trying to access public records. Okay, hold on. Okay. Depends. Videotaping you, and you're videotaping me waiting for public records related to private judging in the law offices of B.J. Faden. Is this what we're going to have to do at every single place that we go for, for, for private judges? Or... Not one person is complying with the law. Hi. Hi there. Are you security? I'm security here. What, what's going on? Well, they are a public court judge. Okay. And Sorry. They're trying to not let us in to see the records. They have publicly noticed BJ Faden gets paid about, I have to look at each appointment order, but about $600 an hour to act as a public court judge. Gotcha. And he is required by law to allow us into that office to see the records. So have you called the authorities if you're under the right to? I don't need to, I have the law. And he signed up to be a judge and he took an oath saying that he would uphold the law and he's acting in these cases. He's also appointed in many cases to represent children as their minors counsel. And so we're waiting for the records that we have a right to access during business hours. So we're gonna wait here and document how long it's taking us to get access to these okay. records. Did they call you about us? Uh, yeah, management called me. What did so they say? They told me to come down here and see what's, what's going on. We're waiting now for that, the records. Now that I have the information, I'll go ask again what it is they want me to do. Thank you. Thank you. We can give you the law if you want to know it. No, I'm sure you're, you know more than me. Another jams location. Another jams location. Oh, and you wow. need security to let you up. And they may be closed. Does it say 16th floor for jams? Yep, there it is. That's not true. Are you Josephine? Yeah. I'm Susan so Bassey. Okay, I'm actually in a meeting. Okay, so well, I'm you actually sorry. keep ignoring me, and the records are okay. supposed to be accessible. I'm in, I'm in a meeting. Okay, well, so when are the records going to wait till your we'll meeting wait. is over? We'll let you know. Hold no, on. we'll wait. We'll wait.
Okay, I'm Susan Bassey, and this is Corrigan, and we are looking for records that JAM has noticed is in this building. We've been through the civil court files and the family court files, and they all noticed that the records under 2.400 are supposed to be available for public access here. I've been asking for two years. I've emailed Katherine Gallagher. I've emailed Josephine Kerr. I've emailed the manager of JAMS in LA and, and Orange County and sure. Irvine. And we're two years later, you guys are collecting PPP money and you are not making these records available. So we wanna know when you're gonna make the records available to the public that the law says you have to make available. So we're here for that so again. So why don't you have a seat? I'm gonna go ahead and give my legal counsel a call and have her have a conversation. Thank you That's so great. Here's my business card for the two of you. Thank you. I just need a picture of it. I don't need to take it. And I would need to know which cases you want access to. She's got a list. And the other thing is we want to see Katherine Gallagher's notices of notifying the clerk that she's been appointed in a case. Those I, are records you should have I in as part of your business. Of cases. Okay. Okay. These are the three cases. Those are noticed on the public court website that she is doing private judging in those family law cases. So that means under California Rules of Court 2.400, we can look at anything that she has related to those cases here. And I also want to see her notice. Okay, you guys do know that when you obstruct public access to public records, that's a business practice and a policy. Okay, I will Thank you. Ooh, she has my picture. It's not like it's not all over online. As a registered nurse, we support transparency and high quality services that we provide to the public. I do not support jams. That woman just took my picture because I came in here asking to see public records. Do you know her name? No idea who that was. Josephine Kerr. Josephine Kerr. She's the assistant for Katherine Gallagher. She should have asked me to pull my mask down. But she's going to send that picture to all of her friends in jams and all of their other business associates so that when I walk into a jams building, they all know to go scurry, run, and hide and call general counsel. Like I'm harassing them because I'm here to access public records that they have. It's not against the law, it's actually the right of the public to govern government business. So I'm not understanding why they're acting like this. We'll get back to you. Yes. So you understand we have a right to be here and we have a right to ask for the records. Yes. You, you don't have a right not to give us those records. Correct, we will get back to you. You don't have a right to do that. You have okay. a right during business hours to give us the records. Okay. We they're, hear they're you. Gonna, they're not going <laughs> to produce the records. I understand that. Okay. And we, we hear just you. because you say you're not going to do it doesn't make it right or legal. We heard you. I'm glad because you don't seem like you've been hearing me. I've been asking no, for three I years. I can hear you. Okay. Well, your manager and your legal counsel don't appear to be hearing us. So we're going to get a little louder and you guys are going to be the face of us getting louder. That's your employer. That's what your employer is asking you to do. They're not coming out here. The lawyers, the judges, the private judges, the arbitrators, they're not coming out here. They're making you guys do their dirty work. Do you know that you have judges I'm working here meeting. that are taking people's homes, Let's go let me know if you their children, all of their money, money, everything that they have behind these doors? Do you know that? That's paying your salary. Literally the most horrific orders that I have ever read or seen in my life have come out of this office. You would never ever want to use a private judge unless you knew one. Because that's And knew that they were going to follow the law, including giving access to the public. We're, we're not, we don't have a lot of rights, but we have a right to see those records and we're not being allowed to see those records. Asking in 2019, 2020, 2021, and now 2022, it says during normal business hours, we've been asking for three years. JAMS has made a fortune and collected federal money during that time. Thank you for your time. Thank you.
So during our private judge investigation, one thing that we started to notice was that a number of private judges were using P.O. boxes disguised as addresses for their place where they conduct their private judging business. When an attorney becomes a private judge, they are required to list the name, address, and telephone number of where they are holding their private judge business. They don't have to get elected to the bench, they don't even have to get appointed, but they do have to tell the public where we are entitled to see their open proceedings or find their documents. And when a private judge, such as James Cox, notices on the State Bar website and their private judging list that the address where you can get records and have access to open proceedings is a P.O. box, there's something that just doesn't add up when we go to investigate those issues because a private judge can't obviously do business from a P.O. box. investigating private judging, and we've been finding that attorneys acting as judges with the full immunity and power of a public court judge are using P.O. boxes or their home addresses to be private judges. And yet then when we try to go and access records that they're legally required to give us, they claim that we're on private property. And they put up signs that say no parking, private property. They aren't home and they've disconnected their cell phone numbers, making it impossible to see public records. These attorneys are making hundreds of thousands of dollars in these private judging appointments. And we are trying to show what is going on with the privatization of the courts because these attorneys are taking public court cases. They're being privately paid to run them. They're given full immunity. And there are reports that the legal outcomes do not comply with the law that one would expect of a public court judge. This is Cheryl Cassidy's house. She was the divorce attorney for Patricia Lucas and Cheryl Cassidy has been working as a private judge. She was the first private judge for Violet Brooks in a case that had three private judges for a single divorce. None of Cheryl Cassidy's cases were posted on the list. They were kept in secret. And then in 2021, Santa Clara courts that were largely closed to the public during the pandemic began to post the private judge list. And the name, address, and phone number of Cheryl Cassidy was listed for the public to access her records and her court proceedings, where she is privately paid to be a public court judge. Let me show you what access to her court proceedings and records actually looks like. Be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Announcement for Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Announcement for Because it's public record. Thank you. Now, do you remember? My dogs right? are here. They can get violent. Oh, are you so threatening me, Mr. Roja? No, on you're on my property. Leave it's noticed. My property. Thank it's, you. Come it's on, girls. noticed. So Go, do, you, girls. do you have copies of the public records? I work for ADR services. You know that. Are you an employee of ADR services? I am a independent contractor. Thank you. I get a 1099. Where Thank are you your that. records under 2.400 for the cases look, I'll where- I'll have to look. Thank you. Come on. Let's go, girls. He works for ADR services. You call the police. You're, Please you're do. Please call them. Please come call on. them. You right. gave Sharon Roper this address as your public courthouse. Well, maybe she's wrong. Well, Come on, girl. We can do a public records request. Well, do what whatever you, you want. All right, but get off my property. This is my home. Are you? My wife has a disability. Okay, you're over here. You're going to be disturbing her. You've, you're over here. I'm a 75-year-old man with a heart pacemaker. You're at my personal residence. I've asked you to leave. You won't. I work for, with ADR services. That's where all of my cases are. So I'd appreciate it if you would leave my property. Thank you. This is attorney Richard Roja. He's been practicing law for over 30 years. He is also a private judge and he notices his home address as his place of business on the state bar website and also on the public notices in the courthouse. He's been ignoring our calls and our emails about access to his public court proceedings, where he acts as a private judge 
and makes hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, even though he was never elected or appointed to the public court bench. And you won't find his advertisements in the local newspaper because he gets his business from local attorneys. My cases are, so I'd appreciate it if you would leave my property. Okay, so Thank you went you. with me today to try to get access to public records held by private judges. And what did you think about what happened to you today? Um, I, I feel insulted. I feel like as a professional, as, as a nurse, I'm trained to interact with people in a certain way. There's standards of how you respond to people that are asking you for help. And I wasn't treated kindly or justly or fairly or with any level of concern at all today. And it's, it sucks because this is the justice system. This is supposed to be representative of America. And here I am not doing anything wrong literally just coming as a public person to access records and I'm getting the door shut in my face. I'm getting threatened that I'm going to be attacked by a dog. I'm getting yelled at. I'm getting completely denied and blocked access. I'm having people that work within this system treat me like I'm the one that's doing something wrong because I'm asking them to show me that they're doing the right thing and they won't or they can't. And I'm in Santa Clara right now. Behind me is the Santa Clara Superior Courthouse. Millions of dollars, millions, like $60 million. 283. $283 million was spent to build a building that does not represent justice when you have government officials, court officials acting the way that they were today, the way that I saw them today. This, this is nowhere that you want to go. It's dangerous. It's filled with people who are not going to help you, who are going to slam the door in your face, take all of your stuff and laugh at you because there's nothing that you can do about it. They just don't care. Not not because it's public record. Thank you. Now, do you remember my dogs I... are here. They can get violent.